Hello, dear students. You are welcome back to Shivarajan's teaching room, STR. Now we will be having the fourth episode on the first chapter of plus two botany, reproduction organisms. Okay. Now we will be paying attention to what are the different types of vegetative propagation. In the last episode, we had concluded at this point. So, what is vegetative propagation? Once again, for your uh, memory, for for you to remember, any part of the plant other than the flowers, which help in reproduction, is called the vegetative propagation. The reproduction that takes place from any part other than the flowers is called as vegetative propagation and what are vegetative propagules the part that which helps in vegetative propagation the part that which helps in vegetative propagation are called vegetative propagules so what is vegetative propagation Propagation means reproduction. The propagation with the help of a vegetative part of a plant is called vegetative propagation. And that vegetative part which helps in reproduction are called a vegetative propagule. So these are the vegetative propagules. Runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, stolon, offset, bulb, bulbil, comb, etc. are the different types of vegetative propagules. So what is a vegetative propagule? Any part of the plant that helps in vegetative propagation can be called as a vegetative propagule. And what are the vegetative propagules? Once again, runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, stolon, offset, bulb, bulbil, comb, etc. are the different types of vegetative propagules. And we will see one by one. What is runner? Suppose this is a plant. It's a small plant. It's the soil level, and these are the roots. In some plants, the roots grow horizontally below the soil. In some plants, the roots grow horizontally below the soil, and they come up like a small plant. This structure, this root, is called a runner. For example, centella mint, centella, mint, etc. Plants that propagate with the help of runner. So what is the runner? In some plants the roots grow horizontal to the ground or to the soil and come up like a small plant. This root is called a runner. Example, centella, mint, etc. Then what is the rhizome? In some plants, the stem is seen underground. The stem is seen underground in some plants. And this stem gathers stored food and they become large or they grow. And such underground stems that store the food are called a Rhizome, for example, ginger. You know ginger? You know turmeric? You know plantain? So, ginger, turmeric, plantain, etc. are example for rhizome. What is a rhizome? It is an underground stem which stores food and becomes large. For example, see this is a piece of ginger. We plant it. We plant it and the, the plant grows. Then after some months it will be growing and becomes a big piece of ginger. It is like that turmeric also. Then plantain. Plantain. We plant a small plant. This is the small plant that we 
grow and this becomes a big plant and this enlarges by storing food and from here small plantlings come up. This is plantain. So ginger, turmeric, plantain etc are example for rhizome. What is rhizome? Rhizome is the underground stem that becomes enlarged due to the storing of food. For example ginger, turmeric, plantain. Then sucker. What is a sucker? What is a sucker? See, this is a soil level. Here is a plant. The plant is growing like this. And the stem is, some part of the stem is under the soil. Some part of the stem is under the soil. And here is the, here are the roots. From this stem portion, a branch develops and runs below the soil and come up as a small plant. This structure is the sucker. A suck so what is a sucker? Sucker is a branch of the stem that grows under the soil or parallel to the soil below and comes up like a small plant. Such structure is called a sucker. So example chrysanthemum. The tuber, what is a tuber? Tuber also is a part that stores food and becomes a larger and that helps in propagation also. For example, stem tuber. In the case of potato, the stem is the underground stem stores food and that helps in propagation. So tuber can be stem tuber, example potato. And in the case of sweet potato, uh, it is the root that stores the food. So it is the root tuber. So what is a tuber? A tuber is a part of the plant which stores food and enlarges. It can be stem, it can be a root also. When it is stem, it is called a stem tuber, for example potato. When it is root, it is called a root tuber, example sweet potato. Then stolon. What is stolon? In the case of In the case of a plant, jasmine, jasmine, it's a creepy plant, it's a creepy plant which has very pleasant, fragrant white flowers. Jasmine is a creepy plant which bears white, pleasant smelling flowers. And this plant, see this is the plant body, the stem is very weak, it is like this and what happens this stem this is the soil level this stem bends down the stem bends down and touch the ground and it is like this and from this point of touch with the ground it develops roots and a small plant comes up there also this branch is called a stolon. So what is a stolon? Stolon is seen in weak plants. The stem is very weak, so they cannot stand, stand erect. So what happens? The stem becomes weak and touch the ground. The stem, at the point of touching the ground, develops root and develops a small plant. So this branch is called a stolon. Example, jasmine. Then offset. What is offset? Offset is seen in floating plants. Suppose this is a pond. This is a water level. This is a water level. A plant is here. The stem is a creepy thing. It's floating on the water. And here is the plant. And the stem is here and the roots cling here. The stem is going like this and again it is developing another plant here. So this thing, the weak stem that floats in the water helps in 
propagation. The weak stem that floats in the water helps in propagation. Such stem are called as stolon. Example, pistia. Sorry, they are called. Sorry, very sorry. They are it's called a offset. Offset. Example, pistia iconex. This plant is iconia. We know that plant. It is otherwise called a water hyacinth. So, pistia iconia are example for offset. What is offset? Offset is a. It's a floating plant. The plant is a floating plant. The stem is very weak and. Uh, thread like it develops new plants so this stem which is floating in the water is called the offset for example pistia icorne etc then the next thing is bulb what is bulb what is bulb example onion garlic etc you peel the onion you peel the onion so This is onion. We can peel this off one by one. We can peel this. Thing. We can peel this off, and finally, hmm, a small thing will be like this. You peel the leaves off, 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 and off, and finally, a small thing like this will remain here. This is the bulb, and this helps in. This is the part that develops into the new plant. So this is called the bulb example onion garlic etc are example for bulb then bulbil what is bulbil see we have seen this is a pineapple the fruit this is the pineapple and here we can see at the tip of this fruit we can see a structure like this and this is the bulbil so example pineapple bulbil example pineapple then there is another plant which is called agave a g a v agave is also having a structure like this it is called a bulbil and dioscorea dioscorea is a creepy plant dioscorea is a creepy plant so it becomes a very big stem which has stored food it remains under the ground and it develops creepy thread like this with leaves here and there so in this weak stem small bulb like or small things like this develop so these are the this is also a bulb for example dioscorea so again pineapple dioscorea etc are example for bulb bill then com what is com amorpha phallus and colocasia amorpha phallus and colocasia see this is the morphous plant and the soil and here we get this stem portion and we get the things like this colocasia so colocasia and also amorpha phallus are example for comb this is the comb this structure is the comb how we propagate this after we pluck these things we take it away and this portion we cut into many pieces this portion we cut in many pieces dig it in uh, cow dung and dry it and we plant for the new plant so amorpha phallus and colocasia are example for corn so what are the different uh, vegetative propagules runner rhizome sucker tuber stolon offset bulb bulbil corn etc are the different vegetative propagules runner example centella mint 
rice soap example ginger, turmeric and plantain, sucker example chrysanthemum, tuber can be stem tuber example potato, then root tuber example sweet potato, then stole on example jasmine, then offset example pistia, icornia etc. Then bulb example onion, garlic, bulb bill example agave, pineapple, dioscoria, and comb example amorphophallus, colocasia, etc. So, my dear students, vegetal propagation is a mode of asexual reproduction in plants. What is vegetal propagation? Propagation means reproduction. So, propagation with the help of a vegetative part of a plant, propagation or reproduction with the help of a vegetative part of a plant is called vegetative propagation and that part which helps in reproduction is called a propagule, vegetative propagule. So, which are, which are the vegetative propagules? Runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, stolon, offset, bulb, bulbill, comb, etc. are the different vegetative propagules. So, you can make a, you can uh, take a note of all these things and with this we have completed the different types of or different types of vegetative propagation i mean the different types of asexual reproduction plants now we have to shift to the sexual mode of reproduction and that we will see in the next episode thank you